So good morning. Today I am packing. I'm actually going to be flying to California for a little over a week and I wanted to bring some of my art materials with me. So I will show you what I'm going to be bringing. Um, I'm actually going to be setting up a gouache palette today. I usually bring my Koi watercolor set with me when I travel, but instead this time I really wanted to try using gouache. I got this kind of like DIY tin palette to try out. I'm also working on my calendar art. It's going to be like little shops and stores that you see when you take a walk. My calendar will be released super late this year. You guys know I had a lot going on this year, so I couldn't make my regular calendars and I'm sorry if you were looking forward to that. This year I will be releasing my calendars as a printable so you're able to download it and take it to your local print shop to uh, print it out in any size that you want. So maybe that'll be better, you know? If you want to get updates on this calendar release then join my email list. For now let's get back to the focus of this video. For this trip, I'll be taking this A6 Hanamule watercolor sketchbook. It's a cute travel size and it has fine grain paper. It's a cold press watercolor paper. I'm excited to try it out. I've never tried out their products before. Compared to my pocket size moleskin sketchbook that I took on a trip last time I went to California, um, it's a tad bigger. This moleskin sketchbook takes gouache and color pencil really well. It has a fine grain texture too. And what I loved about it is that it has these like off-white pages. But I've heard a lot about Hanamule's paper, so I'm excited to try their sketchbook out. And I like how both of them has that elastic, so it helps keep everything together. And it's friendlier to travel with. Okay, I'm bringing this paper clip with me. An eraser, some washi tape. I'm probably not bringing this pencil sharpener since I won't be gone for that long. And I just sharpened all my color pencils and I'll be selecting my favorite colors from these guys. I'm bringing this water brush. I think it's so convenient because I can store water inside of um, the brush and also, this brush is from my Koi watercolor set, which I find actually retains a better tip than other water brushes that I've tried. Next, I'm bringing one small round brush for details. For pens, I'm bringing my Microns and this Faber-Castell pit pen because they are both waterproof and they work great with paint. Next, I'm bringing a sketch pencil and two Stabilo .68 pens for some simple sketching. And I'm only going to be bringing one travel size paint tin, but I wanted to show you these half pans and how they can be placed into any tin size because there's a magnet underneath the pan. And I like how thin this paint tin is because I love fitting everything into one pencil pouch. Next, I'm going to show you how I'm going to set up this paint tin with gouache and some tips and tricks. First, I'm just filling up these pans with some tube paints and labeling them on the side. Now for trick number one, if you have a dried up tube like mine and you want to reactivate your paint for these pans. Never throw away your hard paint tubes. My paints are not inexpensive, so I have to find a way to use them. So first I cut open the bottom of the tube and now I'm using an X-Acto knife to peel away the aluminum and I'm gonna break the paint into pieces. Next I'm taking the paint pieces and putting them into a double layered plastic wrap because I don't have a mortar. So I'm gonna use a hard object and I'm smashing it into fine pieces. Now I'm just going to add a few drops of diluted honey water. Then use a brush to get it into a consistency that you like. Now I'm going to be mixing my own colors because I think I'll be using these colors a little more. So these are from my tubes and these are the colors that I mixed. Now I'm going to be arranging them in a way that I think makes sense. I added two metallic watercolors and I'm also going to add this paper towel here. Okay, tip number two. If your paint beads up, what do you do? 
So you see how my paint is kind of beading. I'm gonna use this glue stick and I'm gonna smear just a light coat, wipe it away, and ta-da, I can mix my paints on here without it beading. Now let's pack it all away. All right, thanks for watching. I hope to update you soon on my travel sketchbook. I'll see you on the flip side.